Hey guys, this is S2. Gonna be playing us Arena here now. Just got done with an assault game. Um, I'm gonna wait and see what the rest of my team picks, and then I'll probably fill roles. A lot of times doing that, I get stuck into playing tanks. But uh, all right, so we got a mage and a assassin right now, and a tank. Uh, probably need a hunter. Uh, we'll just go Neath. Right now, Hu Yi is probably one of the strongest hunters, but I don't really feel like running them right now, so we'll just go with Neath. Pretty basic Neath. Everybody knows how to play Neath. Um, right now, we got two assassins, too. It's, yeah, it doesn't look like that Bastet is too happy about that. Thor also plays kind of like a warrior assassin, so I think he's fine. You know, that Bastet could have locked in. So now I guess we'll play two mages, but not a big deal. They have two hunters, two mages, one tank. Donner has a jump, Denise has the global alt, they don't really have anyone that can gap close too much like an assassin would be able to, so we should be able to escape a lot of team fights, you know, weak, and they'll probably drop a lot of kills that they would have had otherwise if they picked an assassin. Uh, Ra's heal isn't such a big thing in arena, so Ra's not really that good here. And then since Anubis roots himself, that's not good in arena either. So... I mean, we'll see what they do again. Just a fun little smurf game. Nothing big, but just try to get tips and pointers where I can. I don't really care about the backflip and making weaves right now. The early damage from the one will be good, so I'll just level that up first. And with the two mages, I probably won't be able to get a lot of transcendent stacks, so I'm probably not going to start that. Maybe just be greedy and start keen size. And a little early game sustain might be good. Oh, buddy. With their damage output that they do have, I'm probably going to get the Sanctuary. And that's an easy kill. A lot of this game is about positioning, knowing where your team is, knowing where the other enemies are, and putting it so that you're not going to run right into all of them. This purple buff is really good on hunters, so always nice to get that. It's also always nice when your teammates actually let you get it, instead of in a mirror picking it up or something. <laughs> He's kind of out of position too, but... Enough of our team isn't here to do anything about it. So we'll just let them stand there. We'll punish them later. Yeah, that on her is pretty greedy. And I almost got taken out by the raw ults. He almost made me regret my words that Roz can't do anything in this game type. Also completely wasted my ult. Oh, the greed of this on her. Probably would have saved him if I landed that spirit arrow. Let's 
missing all the spirit arrows right now. easy to land a spirit arrow when someone isn't moving. So like I said in the previous game, it's really easy to chain CC off of that Amir freeze. So kind of just let the Amir and the tanks do the, the main initiations and using their CCs and then chaining off of that. Easy way to get like a lot of pressure in team fights. That was a good wall by the Amir. And a bad dash by her. And again, she dove in without any team support. It's never a good idea. Usually never ends well. Especially when you don't have the damage output to finish the kill. And you use your dash to initiate, so you have no way to get out. Let's see if I can actually land a spear arrow to possibly save her. Well, I landed it, but... Alright. It's a good kill by the Amir there. Right, I'm gonna go back and heal, finish off my keen size, get the boots. Uh, maybe I'll be able to get back there in time to help escort the little Cyclops guy. You get one of those every 10 kills. If you didn't know, they're worth a lot of tickets, which are the numbers to the right. You also get tickets every time minions go through the portal. Oh, I missed another spirit arrow. It's becoming to be a theme. So I don't deserve to win this. I wouldn't have had to burn my alt there if I actually hit the spirit arrow. Um, Alright, so we're going to go into Jotun's. I'm not sure what's really good this season, but a little cooldown and mana is always nice. Let you keep pressure on the tower a little longer. This Isis should be going back. That Thor should be going back. He said he's not really good with Thor anyway, so I'm not going to fault him there. There's his team. There's him. Unstoppable. Just missing spirit arrows everywhere. So yeah, pretty newbie right now. Should be a pretty easy kill on that raw if I can get in here and actually hit something. I have keen size, so should be able to put significant damage on her. On her actually kind of hurts, so we'll backflip out of that. Let that Thor do Thor things. A little late on the spirit arrow there. Actually, didn't think he would land the freeze that quick. There's no way I'll be there in time to finish off that and her, so it's not even worth it. There's no way I wanted that ice to steal another kill from me, so. <laughs> it's glad that opponent Neath left when she did. Gave me enough room to actually finish my kill. Thank 
you, Amir, for taking that alt for me. Pretty safe to go back here. Especially since I know they don't have any assassins that can uh, actually close in on me. I'm going to attack speed, since now that I got keen size, the attack speed will definitely help. I haven't actually had to use this yet. Um, maybe sprint will be good. Be good to initiate and leave, depending on the situation. Oh, the lag. The lag is real. have done that sooner it might have actually been the triple there where I was actually not doing too bad I don't think I'm going to be able to get this pen in time. Nope. Because he took it. I also don't think it was in time anyways. So that was good awareness, but I need to know that that uh, weave was right at my feet. So I was able to just shoot at the weave and get the stun off. That was my fault for missing that basic. So they don't really have much healing, and this game is pretty close to being done. So I'm just going to buy Asi to get out there faster. Yeah, this game's going to be over with super quick. So 11-0, not too bad. Dropped a lot of easy kills, missed a lot of arrows, but other than that, our team played really well. Uh, they're Athena... Did not peel for her teammates at all. Their Nathan Ra did okay. Don Her was super aggressive, and even though he got four kills, he put himself in a lot of bad positions and didn't actually help the team. Kind of just out there for himself. So we'll see the damage numbers. Yeah, I had top damage. So that wasn't a surprise, because I was hitting a lot of basics there, even though I missed a lot of arrows. But... Hitting those probably would have been the difference between going 11-0 and 15-0. And a and couple of my teammates would have not died because they would have been crucial saves. So, anyways, that's Neath on Arena against people that don't know what they're doing. But <laughs> the strategy is still the same. More or less. 
I mean, if they were a little more grouped together, I probably would have to pay attention more to what we were doing. But anyways, I'll see you next time.